Today, I want to talk a little about Flyway, Redgate's latest offering for relational database migrations. The aim of today is to explain what Flyway does and also to demo some real world examples of simple but powerful commands using SSMS and the command line. Firstly, let me introduce myself. I'm Richard Allen, and I'm one of Redgate's account executives in the UK. Feel free to drop me an email if you have any questions after watching the demo or want some further information. You may have heard of Redgate previously. We have a history delivering database DevOps with solutions which focus on development standardization, automation, monitoring, and data protection. We've been incredibly successful providing solutions to clients using Microsoft SQL Server and Oracle database systems, becoming the industry leader in the field. Last year though, we acquired Flyway to expand our offering even further and service relational databases. So Flyway is the world's most popular migrations framework for database deployments. It's easy to adopt, simple to scale across teams, and it allows your developers to manage migration scripts with confidence across 20 of the most common database engines, which can be seen here. As a result, developers have aligned database and application development practices. Your ops teams no longer get weighed down by migrations and your tech leaders have greater flexibility to use the knowledge and resources of their teams to better meet change in business needs. So today we're going to walk you through a few of the basic commands. So firstly, um, let's look at migration scripts. So Flyway runs migration scripts and it keeps a log of what has been run before to ensure that these scripts don't get run more than once. But how are we defining a migration? To us, this is a change to a database and you can have three main types of migrations with Flyway. Versioned, undo, and repeatable. So version migrations have a version and must be executed once in the correct order. Undo migrations can be supplied with a versioned migration to make it possible to undo. And repeatable migrations have no version but should be executed only when their content changes. So the first thing we're going to do for the demo is look at the Flyway folder. The most important folder within this is in conf. And here we're gonna open with Notepad++. This is where you set everything up and connect to your database. You can set passwords, usernames, default naming conventions, all here too. You can see all of the databases that we support. And for this demo, I've connected to SSMS, um, a new database called Flyway DB. But we've also got some other folders in the Flyway folder. Uh, we've got our drivers, we've got our area that we put Java um, migration scripts, um, an area for SQL migration scripts, which I've added a couple of different version migrations, a couple of undo migrations, and a repeatable migration script. And we also have our commands for Mac OS, Linux, and Windows as well. So for today's demo, I'm using SSMS and the command line. I've connected to a new database called Flyway DB. And let me refresh that. And it should be completely empty. Yeah. Um, so the first command we're gonna write in our command line is Flyway info. And this info command lets you know where you stand. At a glance, you'll see which migrations have already been applied, which ones are still pending, when they were executed, and whether they were successful or not. In this case, we have two version migration scripts um, and a repeatable one. And we can see that um, they're all still pending. Um, so these are the files that we've got in our SQL folder, um, but they haven't been applied to our database. So the next command we're going to write is flyway migrate. And this is going to migrate our SQL scripts, which I've added to the flyway SQL folder. It's going to validate and run these, um, which you can see have been successfully applied. But if we do a flyway info, we can also see where we stand. 
and we can see here the state is now successful. And so if we go to SSMS and refresh our fly, flyaway folder, and then open up our tables, we can see the new table has been added. And we can also see we've got a table here called schema history. And if we delve into this one, this is where we're able to track the history of migrations flyways pushing through. So you can see the two versions that we've added. You can see a user that has been installed by the date, time and success too. As you can see from before in our flyway info command, um, we've got this undoable column and version one and two are both able to be undone. And that's because we've got a couple of undo scripts that relate to the versions um, in our SQL folder. So to show you this command, let's write flyway undo. And that's going to run the last undo script associated with the corresponding migration. And if we now run flyway info, we'll see version two has actually been undone and is now pending to be migrated again. Um, if we run flyway undo again, as it will just undo the last um, undo script. So the first time we run it, it does undo um, version two. If we run it again, and then do flyway info. We can see now it's actually undone version one as well. So if we actually now go back to our database and refresh and we have a look for our folder, it's now or our, our um, table. Um, person table has now been deleted. Um, if we go to our schema history and have a look at what's happened in our history, we can see it was migrated and added, and then the two undo scripts were applied to. So the next command I want to show today is our clean command. And that can be used for when things get a little messy and you want to start from scratch. One thing to note here is that Flyway can easily be configured so that this command will fail on any important environment such as production. So let's use our Flyway migrate command in our command line. And that's going to roll everything back if we do a flyway info. We can see um, oh, I actually wrote flyway migrate. Let's do this one again. Flyway clean. And then flyway info. And here you can see we're back to scratch. Um, we haven't got the history of um, migrations, undos, it's back to how it was before. Um, these scripts are pending as they're still sitting in our flyway folder. And if we go back to our database and refresh, we can see it's completely empty now this time. It doesn't even have the history fold, uh, the history um, table that we had before. Um, it's now just completely um, wiped. Um, this is particularly useful in dev and test environments when you're making um, changes and adjustments rapidly. It gives you some added agility and speed. Um, in this demo, I showed you how to connect Flyaway with a new database, but there's also the ability to connect Flyaway with an existing database. And this command is called Flyaway Baseline. So if we run a Flyaway Baseline, it's going to baseline the schema in its current state and allow Flyway to work on top. So let's do a Flyway info. And we can now see the baseline. And from here, everything will be applied on top. And so here you can see a record um, of where it's been baselined and all of the Flyway migrations after it. There's a couple of other commands that I just wanted to quickly talk through. These are Flyway validate. And that looks over the contents of your files and checks this against the database each time to validate the script is the same. Um, if not, it will actually fail. And then we've got the flyway repair, which means if we want to push this through anyway, even if there are changes in those files, and um, we can use flyway repair to then push that change through. 
So in summary, Flyway helps you manage the deployments of migration scripts. It's easy to adopt, simple to scale across teams, and it allows developers to manage migration scripts with confidence across 20 of the most common database engines. Flyway can also be easily added into your automation processes for automated database migrations. There are a number of plugins available. Out of the box, we have plugins for Maven, Gradle, and Docker. But our community have also built a number of other plugins which can be seen on the website. And as Flyway is now owned by Redgate, this means you now get the added benefit of dealing with a more established vendor. We have a dedicated engineering team working on Flyway in the UK, so you can confidently scale its use, knowing we're going to roll out updates and provide support along the way. We have a few different options when it comes to our licensing model, a couple of which complement enterprise customers and larger organizations with added support via Redgate and functionality around rolling back, undo scripts and dry runs. But for any questions, please do reach out. I hope you've enjoyed the session today and I look forward to speaking with you.